Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the 24th day of August, 2023. Our topic today is spare no cost. The Bible says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Psalm 8 verse 1. Thought for the day, mediocrity is an insult to the glory of God. You cannot please God in mediocrity. Excellence is a department of the glory of God. This means the glory of God also refers to the excellence of God. The glory carries the excellence as a component. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 17 says, and Psalm 81 says, O Lord my God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Where you see the glory, you will also see excellence. In Psalm 148 verse 13 it says, it tells us that clearly. So you must understand therefore that mediocrity is an insult to the glory of God. You cannot please God in mediocrity. There is only one thing you can, you will notice when you enter the glorious heavens. It is perfection that is beyond description. That is the character of heaven. That is the character of God. When we are preparing for the construction of the glory dome, the Lord told God's servant, clearly said, spare no cost. He had to share it with me. And I have heard that, I have never heard that from anybody before. He could not forget that instruction. It was so striking. This means to arrive at the dimension of excellence that God wanted the glory dome to be, we must spare no cost. The instruction triggered our emptying everything in our personal accounts for the work. The Lord said that the building was for his glory and he wanted to use it as a representation of his glory and dignity in this end time. And you know, only the best is good enough for anything that represents the King of Kings. As instructed, we spared no cost during the construction and no cost will ever be spared in the maintenance, praise the Lord. What we spend monthly on running and maintenance of the building can build several churches every month. For example, what is spent on fuel for power and generator and electricity is in millions of naira, tens of millions of naira. This is because we serve the God of excellence and only excellence can represent God. Remember this, mediocrity is an insult to the glory of God. You cannot please God in mediocrity. What's our assignment today? Refuse to live a mediocre or average life. Number two, spare no cost for God. Live at your best for the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say, Lord, as that you deliver me from the lifestyle of mediocrity, help me to deploy your nature of excellence in me. Oh God, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I believe the Lord has heard. And the Lord is set for us to rise in excellence in the name of Jesus. You want to be born again today. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. You want to begin to live in that realm of God, the realm of excellence, the realm of the supernatural. Simply pray this afternoon. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. And before I close, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. It's your special day today. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and God be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. Happy birthday. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.